New video time. Guys, I am Yard Offside FM, and it is very nice to see you again. This is episode 10 of The Triumph, my Football Manager 2017 Let's Play series as Hell's Teeth FC in the Tuvaluan A Division. Guys, it's episode 10. We have made it 10 episodes into this great series. I'm having a great time. I'm enjoying things. Um... And we, we're on a three-game run at the moment. We've won three matches, which is awesome news, because if you will remember, at the end of episode nine, uh, I was in very, very poor spirits indeed. We had just lost 1-0 to Luomotu, uh, Olafa Pattaya getting Luomotu's only goal, the winner in the 29th minute. It was a very, very dreary result indeed. And as I said during the, that episode several times, and as I will say again now, I didn't know what was going wrong. I still don't, to be honest, but we've won three straight, as I said. Uh, things have really turned around. We've collected three consecutive clean sheets, which is awesome, uh, given that in the prior seven matches, including our uh, preseason friendlies, we hadn't done that. So to see that defensive turnaround is really nice. Uh, first of all, we defeated Manu Laiva uh, just uh, four days after that Luomotu defeat, I rotated the squad pretty significantly for this match, guys. Uh, and, uh, I'm, and a lot of that was just due to uh, frustration with the team after that Luomotu result. I just said, I'm going to put in some of the uh, younger players and some of the substitutes. Uh, because it can't possibly be any worse. You know, we were looking at a possibility of losing our first four matches of the year. So I thought we got to change things now, and uh, things turned out very well uh, after all. We got a 2 0 result in the end, two second half goals from Vaisua Feoto and Tao Mafai Tui. Uh, and, I mean, Manu Laiva, not a fantastic team, so it's not anything that we should be uh, patting ourselves on the back too much about. But the fact that it was the start of a three-game run, uh, really a, a, a good, um, I suppose, landmark, you could say. Uh, next up, we took on Nanu Maga, and we got another clean sheet here, a 1-0 victory. Tapagao Jr. scored from a set piece in the fifth minute, and we managed to hang on to uh, that clean sheet for the entire match. Ditto for this Pioneer game. An early goal, this one from Vaisua Feoto, and uh, we hung on for the next 80 minutes, 80 plus minutes. Uh, to collect our third consecutive victory. We've moved up to sixth in the table, which is awesome news. We also have a game in hand over several of the teams ahead of us. Of course, we're about to play that game today, but, uh, you know, it's still good news. It's still very good news, especially when you consider that we were down here at the bottom of the table uh, after that uh, Luomotu result. Absolutely abject. Well, we've pulled things around, and now we have a shot to push up into the upper echelons of the A division and give ourselves a chance to finish in the OFC Champions League qualification spots first and second. Uh, and, of course, that's been our goal uh, since the start of this series, guys. Uh, you can see here from looking at the table, there's an interesting thing that's happened this season. You know, you look at the other teams that are doing well this year, Lacanian United and Tofaga, Nui just ahead of us in fifth. They're, they've not been outstanding, but, you know, fifth still pretty good and puts them like us in good stead to move up in the table for the rest of the season but you see new tau up there in first they are the only undefeated team left in the a division and that's quite shocking given that new uh, new tau were last in the a division at the end of the 2016 season if we just have a look here um, they were very, very poor. Uh, the Well, not quite the worst goal difference. They were uh, bested by Nauti in that infamous department. Uh, but overall, they were very, very poor indeed. Uh, lost 13 matches of their 22. Uh, but they've really pulled things around and haven't lost a game thus far this season. And they've got some wins over some pretty decent teams. A win over Nui uh, in their most recent uh, victory. They, they got a great 3-0 win over Lacanian United. Two Two draws here, um, Pioneer and Hamia Mimi, probably teams that, uh, honestly, most teams pushing for a title, uh, as Newtow seem to be, really, those are teams that, that should be defeated pretty easily. Um, so maybe you could argue Newtow should be even further ahead of uh, everybody else than they actually are. Uh, as things stand, however, they're one point above Lacanian United in the table with a game in hand, however. Um, so, you know, good to see a Cinderella story like this, a team rags to riches, and uh, I'm rooting for Newtow to do well in the year, uh, to do well uh, this year, 
But of course, uh, if it's uh, between us and them to get into the OFC Champions League, I'll of course be looking to exploit all their vulnerabilities as much as possible, guys. So, you know, before we get into this game, I do want to just look over one or two things because, you know, we, we kind of had to do a post-mortem to figure out what was going wrong with those early matches. And I want to see similarly um, how things are going well now, who's performing for us. And really, Vaisua Feoto is, has to be the first person uh, on that list as you can see here in his last three matches a 7.14 average rating last five matches I should say um, he uh, has played pretty well 6.5 in the match against who was that match against that was the Nanumaga match so not fantastic in the Nanumaga match but still you know two goals in his last three matches uh, he's really pushed Samaya Moeaga out of the team Moeaga being you know he's not in good form at all he is getting on the older side and so it's understandable that his usage is going to have to be limited from here on out but to see Feoto, who was, you know, a transfer I brought in to really be kind of a, just a developing striker from the future. I had no intentions about integrating him into the first team, but he's really taken his opportunity and come good for us. And we've needed a really sort of lethal goal scorer to be in there in the last few matches. And he has done just that. Just looking at his statistics, you know, he's not an outstanding player. Uh, his attributes, I should say. You know, his physicals leave a lot to be desired. Natural fitness of 12s is his best physical. Everything else is pretty pants. Does have some good mentals. Like I love to see that his determination up that high, nice flair, very good teamwork. Although sometimes with strikers, you don't want their teamwork to be too high. You want them to be a little more selfish in front of goal. But you know, with a finishing of twelve, that's very very good and and puts him in in pretty good in in pretty good standing. Um, so you know, Feoto is a player I'm going to continue to use as long as he's scoring goals, providing assists, passing well. If I remember correctly, he's actually leading our team in terms of passing percentage. Um. Yeah, 88%. He's been excellent on that front. So he's going to be keeping his place. Uh, for the foreseeable future. Um, another thing that's really helped out is that Masolia Eti has really recovered his form. You'll remember he pref he was played in that 4-0 Tofaga match. It wasn't a live com, but I did talk about it in the last episode. We were absolutely obliterated by the defending A-Division champions. And Eti was, uh, as you can see, uh, very much at fault in that match. A 6 uh, a 6.0 rating. I mean, he was absolutely abysmal. Um, but he's come back in the last few matches, and all of them, in all of them, he's gotten a, a match rating above seven. He's he's really really done well. I mean, he's a big boy, Masoli Eti. Anytime you have a center back who's six six, even if his attributes are horrible, which they are, um, he you know he 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 can do things for you. And and Eti is a player who's really a loyal servant to the club. We used him throughout all of last season. Uh, he was a ubiquitous starter. When we signed Aimasu Sio, really, you know, Eti kind of was always going to lose his place. Um, but he managed to stay in the team. I, you know, he managed to clear the sort of registration hurdle. Uh, I, I decided to put him in the team just as cover, and you know now he's getting his chance. And you know to see a guy who lists Hell's Teeth as one of his favorite clubs, you know it's really kind of a, a an endearing story to see him doing so well. I think that's all I really wanted to talk about. So let's get into this match today, guys. As I mentioned, New Tau are playing today. It's a rare double header here in the A division. They're taking on Nanu Maga, who we defeated two matches ago. Nanu Maga resting. At the bottom of the table right now, you would expect New Tau to win. However, you know this is a team that finished last uh, in the previous A Division season, and I don't know FM. It 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 it's an evil evil thing sometimes, and you could really really see an inversion of the expected result here. I kind of honestly really expect Nanumaga to win this, but uh, we'll be rooting for New Tau. Um, be nice to see their Cinderella unbeaten season and story continue. As for us, we're taking on Nui, who defeated us in the Christmas Cup final as uh, avid fans of this series will remember it was a disappointing result to say the least but uh, Nui were an excellent team last year and they're still pretty good this year so there's no shame in having uh, lost to them um, we have never defeated Nui which is an unfortunate statistic um, and you know you see here there's been two draws 
and two Nui victories over the course of the history between these two teams. One of those draws actually was that loss on penalties in the cup final. So really, we've lost three times to Nui. Not a team that we typically perform well against, uh, but hopefully we can change things around today. It's a little bit wet at uh, the Tuvalu Sports Ground in Funafuti. Um, 69 degrees Fahrenheit, so the temperature is pretty good, and 505 tickets have been sold. Attendances have leveled off a little from the early heights uh, of, of the start of the year. Um, I think that's probably true across the A division. Um, so hopefully we can get those attendances back up a little bit. Um, as for our starting 11 today, Tapase and Gola as usual. Alasana and Tapugao Jr. will be playing in the stopper roles in our defend, uh, defensive line. And as I mentioned, Masolia Eti, uh, who has been a stalwart in the last three matches, he'll continue to be in the first team. This is actually the team that I used in the last match against Pioneer as well. Uh, was very defensively solid, even if we didn't create as many chances at the front as I would like. CO and LU are are the wingers. Pearson and Faka Sega will be in the midfield as usual. However, one of the uh, one of the other things that's really been successful over the last three matches, Pearson has been moved to deep-lying playmaker, which is something I've always been reticent to do. I feel like if he's on this deep-lying playmaker defend duty, his uh, really admirable uh, work rate and passing abilities are sort of put... They're, they're wasted, really. I'd, I like to see Pearson getting forward a little bit, as he does when he's in the ball-winning midfielder role. Um, but Faka Sag has been so poor here in the last in well, it was so poor in the opening matches of the season and it seems like things have helped to have them reversed a little bit um you know Pearson does still have a very good passing percentage and so you know if he's going to be a holding midfielder from this spot here at deep line playmaker then at least he can do a good job for us there and Faka Sag can be a little less uh, useless uh, as he typically is and then of course Lapayo and Tui in the um, sort of number 10 roles as I mentioned Vi- uh, Vaisua Feoto will be keeping his place today as long as he's scoring goals for the team he is going to be getting starts so Maya Moeaga is on the bench for this match today I may bring him on he's still an incredible player but he just hasn't been performing as well as Feoto has and so it's a no-brainer for me uh, to 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 give um, Moeaga a rest to drop him from the team. Uh, so the media are predicting a draw here. Honestly, I'd be pretty delighted with the draw, given that Nui do have a track record of defeating us, and they're using a 4-4-2 formation, which usually uh, is good enough to put the Orange Demons to the sword when we play against it. We really struggle with with having uh, both fullbacks and wingers to contend with. Don't really need to uh, give any opposition instructions. Let's have a thought about our team talk, though. Um, I'm assistant saying we're on a good run here. Here. Let's try and keep it going by encouraging the team. I don't want to put too much pressure on them, though, especially given that I'm sure the players are thinking along the same lines I am. Nui, really a, a better team. Let's just kind of try and keep them relaxed here. A um, few players looking relaxed. Exactly what I was hoping for. Very good news indeed. Um, so, you know, like I say, uh, hopefully our good defensive form can continue. If this is a nil-nil draw, it'd be pretty dreadful for you to watch as a live com. Um, but uh, I'll be perfectly happy with that if that's how it ends. Um, just given that we need to keep the results coming, keep this unbeaten run going, uh, keep, keep it keep it going, and uh, you know avoid losing to Nui, which as I mentioned is a pretty common occurrence. <laughs> Uh, so it looks like we already are going to have to make a change in terms of one of their wingers being an accomplished crosser of the ball. That's good. Well, I suppose better to make the change now than, you know, midway through the second half and have them score a late winner or something like that. Here is the man, Lipua, who we were told we needed to close down. They've got somebody in on the right here. Oof. Uh, Seal Peppa's crossed that over, but luckily there was no one at the far post for Nui. That's a very good chance for them and an example of how we can get uh, sort of cut to pieces with people cutting uh, in, in where normally most teams would have ooh, Lapayo. That's a woeful finish where normally most teams would have fullbacks. It may necessitate using... Ooh, I thought Alu might put that on target. Very, very, very tight angle for that free kick, but didn't look like it skimmed over from that uh, far out. That one's deflected by Katagali, and uh looks like we're going to have a corner here. The deflection nearly went in from Alu. Corner. Ah, still looking for another set-piece goal. 
The board, I'm sure, would love to see that. I'll take goals however they come. Sia will keep this in play. The highlight is over, however. Looks like this may be a highlight for Nui, which is unfortunate. That is put on target, but Tapase uh, is equal to it. Looked like that header was a little bit challenging for the striker uh, to, to, to really muster a lot of power with Alessana breathing down his neck. Eliu will have a throw in here from the right. Can he whip this in? Nope. That one's been cut out. Tapagao Jr. does well to cut that out. And Feoto has scored. The scoring run continues for the young 17-year-old Vaisua Feoto. We brought him in on a transfer from, I believe, Newtow, actually. Uh, the team performing so well at the top of the table. Uh, they're not looking any worse for wear without him. But uh, w without him, I mean, we I don't even want to think about where we would be. Really, really nice to see Tapagao Jr. just get stuck in and work to cut that out. And that long ball for Feoto, that's really what this tactic tries to do, is make sure you have men forward and then just play long balls, go route one, and you know see if you can get lucky. And Feoto, the man in form, has put that away. Fakasega heads that corner out. The danger seems to have been at least temporarily cleared. Sio should cut to, or uh, close Tui down. He can cut him down as well. That'd be fine. <laughs> it's a lenient referee today. <laughs> Tapase will easily collect that. That wasn't the whole highlight, was it? it looks like it will continue. Lapayo, Pearson, Eliu on the left wing. Lapayo, let's go on, boys. Let's get another one. Feoto can maybe find uh, Fakasega. Has been found in the end. That shot wasn't far away, but it looked like it was... Uh, uh, little bit of a lower pace shot, and uh, in the end, I think it probably would have been covered by the Nui goalkeeper. It looks like Nui may have a highlight here. We need to shut them down. That one's gone off the post. Alasana heads that away, which is good because Lipua was waiting to put that rebound in the back of the net. Looks like that cross is going to go over the end line and the highlight should be done. We should head into halftime 1-0 up, which is excellent. It looks like there is one more highlight, a free kick, which uh, there too he has put well over the bar. Guys, I am somewhat considering using the 4-3-2-1. Um, doesn't look like I included my fullbacks in my substitutes list, so that's going to be... Uh, I think you held off for another day. But uh, the reason I'm considering it is we are seeing a little bit of what was happening in that Tofaga loss where uh, we're having the opposition are having a fair bit of success down the wings. In fact, before we do the pep talk, pep talk let's just have a look at the analysis just to see the heat map. Uh, typically, when teams perform well against us, there are blotches on the wings that indicate there's they're having a lot of joy. Um and luckily, things are actually looking okay. We're playing very, very centrally, which is more or less the idea. Uh, Feoto on a 7.0 rating. I, I'm not a little. I'm not, I'm not as concerned now as I was to to see that their play has been uh, has not been uh, been really active on the wings. That's something that's always a little concerning. All right, so let's go back over to the pep talk here. Um, you know, this is the situation where I might be able to actually really. Uh, get pretty aggressive with my players and tell them to, to kick on. Um, things are going well. I know you're capable of even better. Come on, boys. Okay. Definitely the sort of situation where we could have a collapse in the second half. Um, but we're not playing Hamea Mimi, which is good. Oh, looks like we do need to go back over to field. There we are. That uh, we, we should do a Hame and Mimi live com sometime just so you guys can see what I'm always complaining about. They're just they they always 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 seem to to get stoppage time goals against us and just steal points from us. No matter how well we play, Hame and Mimi can always be trusted to rain on our hell's teeth parade. Um, just a completely frustrating team to play against. I don't even know if they've ever beaten us. I don't think they have, but they just always seem to to manage to come back and and nick a draw, which is just incredibly irritating. Uh, no highlights aside from that uh, free kick um, that they had. 
I think we should make a substitution here. Let's see how everybody's been performing. LU on a 6.5, not terribly outstanding. Lapayo having another stinker at uh, 6.5, may need to bring him off. Tell you what, let's bring on Ale. I've been trying to give him some uh, match time just to you know keep him fresh, keep him developing. And he did, I, th I believe I started him in the match against Manu Liva and he was okay. Not unbelievable performance. One of the problems with Ale is that he's, he's not particularly, he really prefers more to play as a right winger. And of course we don't have a right winger in this formation. He is pretty competent as, uh, as an attacking midfielder on center, but he's pretty pants at all of the roles or at least according to my assistant so we're trying to improve that in training at the moment you know Ali was the sort of player that I brought in I always knew that he was going to be used as a substitute so not not the sort of thing where I'm hugely upset that uh, he's not you know seen as as particularly good in any of the roles I just want him to do a job and you know he, he does he is a an okay uh, passing and attacking threat going forward which is you know that's the reason we brought him in that and he was a very high profile player even though I knew he wasn't as good as uh, as everybody thought he did the media were just delighted with him and our board was pretty happy that we brought him in as well thought that was maybe going to dip under the bar that free kick and uh, knew we have had a number of free kicks which is a little bit concerning but uh, they've all missed so that's uh, that's pretty good news here Tui can maybe find Feoto ahead of him but that is cut out Pearson will recycle possession however CO now, Pearson spreads it to the left for Eliu, who needs to get rid of it before he's shut down. Eliu's still on the ball here. Pearson has found Feoto. Back out to Eliu. Pearson. Feoto over the top on the, on the left side of the box. Feoto with a cross. Ale scores! Feoto has got himself an assist. And this 17-year-old is in absolutely brilliant form. And add to that the fact that Ale, our substitute, has scored. We look like geniuses. This match is going absolutely far better than could have planned. As I mentioned, I was really just kind of hoping for a draw. But we are 2-0 up here with 20 minutes to go. Things are looking really, really nice for us here. And we are well on our way to getting our first victory over Nui last season's runners up in the league uh shall we bring on a substitute just to keep things uh solidified um, 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 um. yeah let's bring on Salau who I don't he's yeah his match sharpness is pretty horrible so he could do with a little bit of time in there question is is he better suited as a um, is he better suited to the cover role or the stopper role I suppose it doesn't matter because we can just move him wherever he needs to be to be moved to Salau will bring him on I think for Tapagao Jr. Uh, he's very well suited to the stopper role so that sounds good we'll use him uh come on mate we just need you to to uh, keep things calm out there so let's tell him there's no pressure all right here we go. This has been an absolutely outstanding performance. Perhaps Nui have had the better of the play. Looks like we are doing pretty well in terms of controlling possession at the moment, at least. And perhaps we have, could have another highlight here. No, Ale's given the ball away. Very worrying. If we were to concede a goal now, that would uh, certainly somewhat feel like what I believe Work the Space calls squeaky bum time, so we'll be looking to avoid that happening. Alasana on the right for Nui. We need to get possession back. Falawaga. That has not been closed down sufficiently. All of our center backs look to be afraid of it. Luckily, the ball kind of drifted far enough wide that uh, the angle was 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 pretty mad. Valawaga will take a free kick here. Let's see this before we use our last our uh, yes our last substitution. It has gone over, and uh, we can breathe easy. With eight minutes left, things are looking pretty good for us to get a victory here. Who shall I bring on? Let's just bring on Moeaga. I think. Uh, I don't want to take off Feoto, and he does need a little bit of match time as a uh, attacking midfielder. I've been trying to train him as that. 
So let's take off Talmafi Tui, who's had a pretty quiet day. Don't think he's been that poor, but uh, it's worth keeping Moyaga fit. So we'll bring the experienced veteran on. Uh, and who knows? You know, Moyaga was excellent throughout most of last year. It's entirely possible that uh, that he'll come on and score here. He's the sort of player with the sort of uh, pedigree uh, that that he could maybe do it. He's, if I remember correctly, Smaya Moyaga has more or less the best technicals of any player on our team. Uh, he's, in, you know, just in terms of his skill, really, really, really top notch. And it looks like we're about to head into stoppage time here with a 2 nil lead. LU, oh, thought maybe Ale was going to be able to put that on target, but it looks like we're looking at a three on two now at the other end. This is a little concerning. CO does absolutely brilliantly, though. Steps up, makes the challenge, takes it off of the Nui player's foot. That was absolutely fantastic. This has been a match of some really good individual performances, and I am absolutely delighted with the team has played. If I thought things were going well during that three-match winning run, it's now four, and we have defeated our, well, really a bogey team for us. We just couldn't get any results against them last season, and we've gotten a really, really nice 2-0 victory over them today. The man of the hour, Vaisua Feoto, got a goal and an assist. The, the guy's been absolutely incredible. I, I don't have anything to say to these guys other than it was very, I'm very, very happy. This was a brilliant day for us as a club. Uh, we, we're now going to push ourselves up into the title chase. Uh, we are in third, um, just two points away from Newtow, who do have a game in hand, but they'll be playing later today. And of course, in episode 11, that's probably the first thing that I'll try and mention for you guys, is what happened in that Newtow game against Nanu, bottom of the table, Nanumaga. Did uh, the current league leaders win? Did they uh, stay top? We'll find out. We, it looks like things are really developing into a fan fantastic sort of summer title race here and I don't know which match we'll be back for but I can just about guarantee you that we will be in and around the top of the table now I've jinxed it that I've said that haven't I <laughs> um yeah maybe that new Tau game I'm very very tempted it would be pretty a pretty short delay since the, you know this new victory that we just saw today but that I'm really really leaning pretty heavily towards that because it looks like that is going to be a really fun contest to see us against uh really the Cinderella story of the A division this season and I don't believe we've ever played new Tau in a live comp so tentatively let's plan on that maybe I'll go a little further if I have some extra time to play FM or if New Tau kind of fall off the pace and aren't uh, in the stellar form that they are now, uh, we'll see. I'll 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 play that when we get closer to it. So thanks for watching, guys. Please like, please subscribe, and please come back for episode eleven of the Triumph.